Jose, Jose. You, 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 okay, so just from that, uh, um, welcome. I take it you've seen the movie already. Yes, I have. So what is it that you're referencing? I'm going to ask you a question. What is it that you're referencing by, oh, Jose, Jose? You are amazing in this film. I thought you were going to give away a spoiler there. Never. <laughs> Never. Oh, I wouldn't do that to Joe or Ben. Well, I'm really flattered that you say that. This is, your performance is amazing. This film is amazing. What do you as an actor say when this script comes across your desk and you start turning the pages? Uh, so I'm speechless, one, uh, first of all, by uh, the really flattering compliment. Thank you for those words. Um, when I first saw it, I said, I have to be a part of this. And uh, I'll never forget when I went in to read for it, not too far from here, uh, Mary Venue's office here in Culver City, Marie Del Rey. And I want to be a part of this. I have to be a part of this. And I got chills when I read it. And then it just kind of went away. They went quiet. No feedback. Two, three months later, I get a call saying, you, you, you got it. I'm like, what do you mean? I was hoping I was going to check in. Like, what happened? No, no, you booked it and you leave tomorrow. Like, we literally start shooting tomorrow. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Um, whoa. When I first read it, it felt like one of the first films um, that I saw that got me excited about being a part of story. Uh, I keep talking about um, Chinatown because it, it's, it's, it's a bit groundbreaking. It's got this pulp noir feel to it, but it also speaks an updated language, which is, yeah, it's a little bit John Wick. It's got a kick-ass element to it. And I've never seen those elements put together into one film before with an all-Latino cast that is a Latino story. Yeah. Um, I was, um, it felt like I was deputized, right? And so when it came across, as you say, you know, my vi virtual desk, um, I said, I have to be a part of this. And uh, I felt so lucky to be a part of it. And then you go and live in that world the whole time, because we shot this on location. You never have to leave that world. Yeah. How important is that to you as an actor when you don't have to leave that world? Oh, wow. That's a great question. So, um, I love my wife. I love my family. But it feels a little bit like... Well, well hold on. Hold on. Well, it feels like uh, MLB players, right? Baseball players. Yeah. They play better when they're on the road because they don't have to worry about, you know, the bills that come in, right? You don't, you don't have to worry about the L.A. traffic. L.A. traffic is like bad weather. It, it is. It's a, it's a lot. And so, when you go to a place like Calgary, you know, and, and the only people that you know there are the other people that are in the movie. You go to bed, you wake up, someone picks you up, you can stay focused and you can stay in that world and you're interacting, uh, building rapport with the other actors. And I love LA and I love working here in LA and I love the crews that are out here. But there is something about um, saying like, when I shoot here, I don't really get to interact with the other actors outside of set. Right. And uh, boy, you get so much for free when you're hanging out in the lobby Hey, you get, you're gonna go work out. I'll go work out with you. You know, because you were gonna, you know, go to the. Ho and we end up talking the whole time. And then the next day, you have all these great references, and you're not acting anymore. You know, you can just use all of it as truth. Um, I can't speak enough about being able to just stay in that world. Oh well, again, I know they have to move you along. Congratulations, job well done. And I'm predicting a standing O at the end of this film tonight. All right. Well, thanks so, so much. So thank really you, Jose. Thank Honor. Thank you. Honored. Thank you.